It seems obvious to me that this proposal will be bad for the Balmain Tigers, dangerous for kids at Roselle Public School and astronomically expensive for the taxpayers of New South Wales. This has been a very badly planned project from the start, but in the long history of Westconnex stuff-ups, this is possibly the stupidest decision that they've come up with yet. Roads and Maritime Services have contacted me to say that they are finalising plans that are likely to involve the acquisition of the Balmain Leagues Club site. And for people who've been waiting for the Tigers to return to their spiritual home for so long now, this will be a real body blow. And there's the real possibility that this will make the Balmain Tigers extinct. And this has been the problem with West Connects from the start. They haven't had a proper plan in place for how they were going to finish the project. And we've now ended up with this ridiculous process where each time they get to one point in the tunnel, they start planning another tunnel and that has impacts for local communities. I've been told that it would be a dive site for the second Harbour Tunnel project, which would mean that there'd be millions of tonnes of spoil being brought up into Roselle and then trucked out through local streets. Streets that will already have West Connex trucks all over them from the Roselle interchange. The government has demolished half of Haberfield. They've sent the steamrollers through St Peter's and now they seem intent on poisoning the local environment in Roselle. We've had enough of the West Connects and New South Wales government war against the inner west and we're not going to take it anymore. While they are making Balmain Tigers extinct, putting the health of kids at Roselle Public at risk and leaving the taxpayers of New South Wales with an astronomically large compensation bill, I think the government's in danger of engendering open revolt from the people against this ridiculous idea.